Hey guys, AstroDev here, welcome to the video. And today I'm going to be starting a uh, new series for you guys. Uh, I'm going to be starting a series uh, showing you guys how you can uh, efficiently mod Codename Engine. Because the Codename Engine, in my, in my opinion, the documentation, is uh, extremely sparse considering it doesn't even tell you how to make a custom main menu state or how to even change the background efficiently. So uh, yeah, those of you wanting to use Codename Engine and have no clue on where to start, this is the stop for you. So let's go ahead and start right now. Now for this example, I am going to be using a pre-downloaded Codename Engine to show that I'm not using any source code trickery. Uh, yeah, so essentially first thing you'll want to do is obviously set up your mod. So go to mods and uh, we're going, I'm going to make this and call this uh, video mod because it's for the video and um, I'm going to be using some of the assets from the mod I code for which is Church of Cross, Divine Comedy which you should totally check out and play uh, we've got an update coming out soon and then we're bringing the whole mod over to Codename Engine because why the hell not so yeah so to change change stuff relatively simple so we're only going to need uh, two folders we're going to need a images folder for our menu when we get around to creating it and we're going to need a data folder this is going to hold all our source all our code and scripts so you go into your data folder and next you're going to want to create a new hx file call this global.hx what this is going to do is this is going to allow you to reroute states when they hit so we're going to just move this over on here and yeah first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to make a array variable that uh, redirects the states that you desire. So, for example, I'm going to do a so it has to be a static variable. So static var. Let's call it redirect states, and then it's a map which the flx state that we want to change is mapped to a string, and then we can go ahead and start the array. And so we're just going to change the main menu state. So we're going to change main menu state. We're going to pass over because that's what the fat arrow is. It's a passing of a variable. And we're going to change it to um, where our path is going to be. So it's going to be custom. Uh, and then it's going to be new main, new main menu. Like so. And then put the semicolon underneath here. Then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to call the pre-state switch. So function pre-state switch like this. Uh, this will be called before the state fully switches, but when it's halfway through. So essentially what we do is we dig into the code and we're like, hey, before you switch to this state, go to this state instead. So the way to do this is we're going to do a for loop. So we're going to do for redirect for redirect state which is our new variable that we're creating for the loop uh, in redirect states dot keys so what this means is it's going to loop through each item inside of redirect states and then we're going to do if std which i'm pretty sure uh, stands for math is of type uh, flx g dot game dot underscore requested state redirect state what this line does is it checks if it's requesting to change the state and if it is going to change the state then we are going to change it to our redirected state so then you go below it so you um my bad uh completely forgot how uh fours work my bad to use to c sharp syntax you don't need any uh, brackets and below this if it's going to automatically place it and then you do flxg dot game dot underscore requested state equals new mod state and then inside of here we're going to do red, redirect uh, states dot get the redirected state and now what this will do is when we try to load the path custom new main menu it should load efficiently so the way we're going to do this now is we're going to make a folder called states like so and then inside of here we're going to make a folder named custom and inside of here we're going to put our hx file we're going to call this uh, cust uh, new main menu 
new main menu hx like so and now um yeah what's next after this is a bit basic flexor class setup stuff so i'm just gonna uh, copy and paste the code i already have and bas basically just explain it to you guys so at the top you've got your imports because by default nothing will be imported so you won't be able to go back you won't be able to open up the edit menu you won't be able to open the mod menu any of it so you need to Im make sure you import those then next i've got my flx sprite for the background i've got an array which uh, contains all the different paths to my images and a variable that keeps track of the current index so the way we're going to do this and then in, in create a trace to make sure that it's progressed and i do menu bg and i load it and then in the update state if i press back it switches to the title state and then if i press right it ups the it ups the index if i press left it doesn't and then it does a kit switch case check to change the image and then when you press enter it does that and then if you press control stop switch mod which is tab it'll bring up the substate for the mod switch and if you press 7 it'll open up the editor and then obviously we've also got uh for press for pressing enter it takes you to, do, to different states all right so what we're going to do now is we're going to do one last bit of easy stuff so we're going to come here we're going to do um menus inside of our images we're going to make a new uh folder called menus I'm going to make a folder called uh, main because that's the path that we have specified inside of our code file. As you can see, if I scroll up to the top right here, it's menus, main, and then the images. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to our mods folder. I'm going to go ahead and grab my images that I already have. I'm just going to copy the entire main folder over, save a little bit of time. Uh, images, menus. And if I hit that main, there we go, images successfully imported. And now if we go to Codename Engine and we load up Codename Engine, and we hit enter, like so. First thing you're going to want to do once you load in, hit enter, obviously. Uh, I have everything uh, set off at the moment, so you're going to want to hit tab, find your mod, hit enter, and it should reset it. Now if you want to chest that it's going through, hit F2. To open up the codename engine uh, console and as you can see uh, once I hit enter it should trace this is a state into the console if it doesn't crash that is I'm so stupid uh, I forgot to hit save uh, that, that that'll do it uh, don't be like me remember to hit save whenever you finish coding I have a terrible habit of doing that anyway as I was saying we hit enter Bosh, we're in our new state. And we can access all the other states. When we press tab, we can switch our mod back over. Uh, when we hit uh, 7, we can open up uh, chart editing stuff. And then some of, some of this stuff works. For example, if I go over to uh, setting, no, authors. Uh, it'll open up the credits. If I go back, if I uh, open up the settings, it'll open up the settings. Voila. Um, yeah, and that is it for this uh, quick tutorial. Uh, let me know down below what other stuff you'd like to know how to code, uh, whether it be fully custom main menus, uh, switching other states, uh, title state, uh, making cutscenes, anything. Uh, just let me know down below. And with that, uh, I hope you did all enjoy. If you did enjoy this video, please subscribe, as it would mean a lot. And I'll see you all in the next video. That's so cool. Eight.